Hi, Joe with the Spark here again. Hope you're all keeping well. Um, just um, attempting now to ch um, change this fuse board. A uh, few little problems I'll show you. Yep, as you can see, took off, um, undo the screws, took off the, pulled the fuse board apart, of, away from the box, up from the fixings. And then you've got this trunking that they've run across here, right down to the bottom there. And as you can see, my problem is resting on, right on top of that meter. So I need to get that lid off so I can free up the cables a bit. Um, uh, yeah, as you can see, it's right on top of the meter. And because um, I'm not sure I'm going to get these cables into the fuse board, either stuffing glands coming from the top, but I haven't got a lot of room to play with. And some of them I can put in the, through the back, but some I can't. So um, it's going to be a bit tricky. I'm going to try and cut, here's my axle, try and cut this lid here so I can get rid of this part, take off this part, this um, bit of trunk and lid and see if I, it gives me a bit more room with the cables. Um, so it's going to be a bit tricky, but um, I'll get on with it and update you later on. Hi there, um, just uh, attempting to change this fuse board now. Um, I've got all, most of the cables out of the whole fuse board. I've left the old fuse board up hanging <clears throat> for a short while um, to because they've got a fridge in this cellar and one upstairs. I've left I've left the sockets in here on so you can uh, keep the fridge going and I've left the lights in here so I can see. Um, Eventually, I'm going to have to take it all out and do something a little temporary. I'm not advising anyone to do this when you see it. If you're work, if you're doing this type of work, make sure you disconnect everything, set up a good temporary, and get on with it. You know, don't say God, don't can't be saying, "Oh, I saw it on YouTube, so that's why I did it." That ain't going to hold any water, mate. Always work safe. You're your own safety officer when you're working, so always work safe. Okay, cool. Uh, there's the fridge that they've got in the basement that I'm trying to keep on. And there you can see the fuse board just hanging there, just, just for a little while until I can get things sorted. There are the rest of my cables behind it. Um, I'm hopefully gonna fit the fuse board in this area here. And then uh, <clears throat> I think most of these are gonna have to go in the top. If not, probably all of them. Probably have to go in the top of the fuse board, use some stuffing glands. Um, I haven't really got a lot of room here, to be honest, between this and the fuse board fits in there nice and snugly, um, but not a lot of room on the top. So hopefully I'll get them all in and um, I have to see about trying to get some fixings across here on this side. I have to pat that out a bit. Okay, um, I'll get on with it and let you know how it goes. Well, that was a right rigmarole, getting that fuse board up. Got it all up, got all the cable um, circuits connected. One problem though, if you remember, I had to trace that fault with the fan, the bathroom fan, what's giving me a bit of, kept um, getting 0, 0.00 on the insulation resistance. Well, it's tripping on the RCD. So I know if I disconnect that fan, the RCD is gonna be okay. So there's probably, so there's a fault either on the wire going to the fan or the fan itself. So I'll have to find that out. And um, at the moment, I've just got it on an MCB until I find the fault. There it is in all its glory. There. See it? I'm at, I managed to get most of the cables in the back of the fuse board two circuits I had to bring through the top. Okay. Um, just got to put the cover on, mark it up, label it up. But I've got to do that, find that fault. That's the fuse board there. Um, <coughs> that's the junction box for the um, cables I found um, taped up over there. Uh, and this one here, this lighting circuit was too short, so I had to junction box it and bring it in. But there it is all done. Got to get some blanks for that. 
and um, yeah, it's all finished. One one other thing, uh, the circuit that I had to trace that fault with that led me to the fan, that's given a bit of problem because the RCD keeps tripping. So I think that we're going to have a new fan there because I'm sure once I um, eliminate the fan from the circuit, the RCD will be fine. So there must be a fault on the fan. Okay, I'll let you know how that goes. Well, um, I've just done all the um, RCD testing here and they all worked out fine. But if you remember on the first floor where I had where I discovered the problem with the fan, like I said before, it's tripping the RCD straight away. So it's on an, it's a, on an MCB at the minute. So I'm going to go upstairs and uh, see if I can find out what's wrong with the fan, whether it needs a new fan or whatever. Right, um, that's the dodgy, dodgy circuit there. You can see it's on an MCB, all the rest are RCBOs. So I'm going to go upstairs now and see if I can um, find out what's wrong. What I think I'm going to do, I'm going to go straight to the fan and disconnect it and then put the RCD in, see if it trips. If you remember here, you had a three port switch that wasn't connected. And then you had this switch and I had to take the box out, get all the cables in properly because they were stretching and reconnect it nicely. So there's the fan up there. Expel air. Good maker fan. So I'm going to take it off, see if I can see it. I'm going to take it off, disconnect it here, put the, put the RCD in and see what happens. Now, look at the fan, it's all well dirty, but look, look at that. What do you reckon of that? I mean, there's no outside vent, no line in pipe. So that's not good. If you, to have a nice flow and to have a fan working really efficiently, you put a plastic pipe through, put an outside vent, so that stops um, anything getting, getting back into it. That's not, this is not done right. And um, if you remember rightly what I was saying, when you turn it on, it doesn't come on, it's, there's a delay. So I think something's wrong here anyway. And I think that's gonna be the screw to get to the um, electrics. And I don't wanna take all this fan apart. I'm just gonna clean it out and um, I'll disconnect it at the, free, at the switch and then put the RCD in and see if it works. Okay, but I think you need a new fan and this should definitely be lined with a pipe and definitely an outside vent. Right, there you are. I've connected the um, neutral live and switch line for the fan. Okay, yeah. So I'm gonna go back downstairs now. Right, I'm gonna Take out that MCB, put an RCBO in and see if it works. If it does work, um, then obviously we know there's a problem with the fan, which I think the fan's got to be changed anyway. And then, um, but I'll have to leave it on an MCB for now until the, uh, until the fan is done because it works on the MCB. But obviously the RCBO picks up the fault. Right, moment of truth, RC, RCB in place, RCBO in place. We lit yesterday, bang, straight away, no problem. There you go, staying in, let's go up, see if the lights are working, should be. Yep, lights are working. That's working. So it's the fan that's causing the problem. There you go, MCB back in. Switch it on now. Hopefully the fan's working. But um, like I said, that's gonna have to be changed. Don't know if you can hear it, it's coming on slowly.
Hear it? <laughs> nah, that's... <laughs> Listen to that. Comes on slowly, and then... Nah, that, I don't even think that's even pulling good. I don't even think that's even pulling good. Hold on, just one second. Let's, have a, let's check something. Like it's like it's going through gears, you know. Let's see what happens. Well, it's not really old in that. Yep, it is. There you go. But I don't think that's the best test for it. But here it is. It's got into gear now. <laughs> it's going. <sighs> Let's see. If it's old. Yeah, I think it should be should be sucking better than that. When you put a fan, that should just be, yeah. Should be doing better than that. Okay, fine. Well, that's it for today. Um, gonna have to come back. There's a fluorescent fitting, um, fluorescent fitting just there that's not working. And that fan's, that fan definitely needs changing. Cause I've got to, it, that circuit's got to be on an RCBO because it's a bathroom light. And the regulations, you know, you should, you go have it on an RCBO. Um, and the fan, like you see, you can see for yourself, it's not that, can't be that efficient. That's quite a big bathroom, that is. High ceiling, and um, yeah, it's a big bathroom. Um, so uh, I'll do that. Hopefully I'll get back to the client, let him know, and then if he says to get that done, then I can just finish off and tidy everything up. All right, guys, I'm back in this place, finishing off the, this job. Um, I've got a fluorescent fitting to install um, in a little place there and um, the oven kept tripping the RCD so something so something's wrong there that needs to be sorted out yeah so I've got to um, do a put a fluorescent in here that one there you've got to give it a little bang and you've got to give it a little bang and it comes on eventually right but it doesn't come on with the switch something's wrong with that <coughs> and that's the troublesome hot oven there's a switch there you've got to look into that And I've got to put the outs, the vent for the fan. Look, I've got this tower to put up. Now, this could be my problem. It's got to go here. And it's not very level. It's not very level here at all. So I'm thinking I had to know I might have a bit of problem. Because there, there's the hole right up the top there. Didn't didn't fancy going off a triple ladder, extension ladder, because I may have to do drilling and all that. No, I didn't trust that, so. Well, there's enough room for, it's a my tower it's called. There's enough room to fit it here, but the ground is a bit unsteady. This level here is lower than there, so I don't know. I'll see, see how it goes. All right, um, let you guys know what's happening later on. Okay, guys, um, I've got that uh, light fitting done. Um, I'll show you it. Right, that's the fitting there working. And that's the old one there. With this one, I changed the tube, changed the starter. Still no difference. You had to jiggle it off to get it working. It wouldn't come on with the switch. So, um, there you go. Switched it off comes on no problem okay cool so that's done now now what I've got to do 
It is taco. This oven. The problem with this is that oven can't come out. Don't know how they put it in, but it can't come out. Um, well, I can't get it out, so I've took loads and loads of ovens out. This one, take off the four screws, won't move. The lady actually told me that when they put it in, they did have a problem. Struggled to get it in. But I don't know why you'd put an oven in that you can't get out. Anyway, let's see what happens. Okay, uh, turn it on, please. Uh, try the grill, try the grill. Okay, try the oven. Try the oven. Sorry? Oven's not on. Should be. It's quite funny. What's happened here? Um, when, when the lady turned the grill on, grill on it's fine. But she doesn't really know how to turn the oven on. Um, there was a guy here before, he done it. Because it, it's not like you just turn the switch and the, you have to do something else, I think, to get the oven on. I don't know that. I'm not touching it. I don't know nothing about it. But um, the RCB is staying in, but I don't trust it. I think it's going to trip. I think what really needs to happen, we need to take that oven out, have a look at the connections, and see what's going on. All right, so. Um, I'll tell the client and see what he says. I've got to fit that fan in the bathroom and uh, put the vent outside. Not looking forward to it because the outside part could be a bit tricky. Um, so I'm going to get on with it and uh, let you know how I go, okay? You can see this is a big bathroom. There's a fan over there. I mean, I've seen, this is the biggest bathroom I've worked in for a while. No, you don't see many bathrooms this big. I've seen bedrooms smaller than this. They've got a shower, got a bath there. Ceiling's quite high as well. And there's a fan there. That's the replacement. There's the outside vent. Right, I've got the old fan out. I'm just going to show you something. There's, that's the old fan down there in the box. Quite often. And then this, this is um, a spout of the fan that was stuck in there. And yeah, this spout of the fan that was stuck in there. And what they've done, they got this bit of plastic, curled it round and mastic it. Mastic, see the mastic? See the mastic there? Mastic it, mastic it into the hole so. It, so that that arm spout could fit firmly. So <laughs> there's all the plastic there. Look. <laughs> uh, I, mean, I mean, I don't think that's. I, I mean, I've never done it like that. I don't think that's how it should be done. So I'm taking this all off. Right. That's it. There's your hole there. The only trouble is with these fans. Is how the cable comes in. Oh, this, the earth was short, so they put a connector on it. Uh, anyway, I'll get on and see our progress. Hi guys, just thought I'd um, update you on what, how things are going. Having a bit of a problem, I'll show you in a minute. Now, so I've got my sleeve in, and what I've done, because there's a gap around it, I put, I put some plaster around the hole, put some plaster around the hole, and then I pushed the pipe in and then made good around it. So that's nice and steady. Now it's not moving, so um, I can easily fit my fan. Okay, but the problem I'm having with the outside is this. That's where my tower comes up to. It's down there. And there's the hole up there. I don't know if you can see that. But as you can see, there's a gap between here and here. I need enough, I haven't got enough um, 
are those barriers. I need a barrier across here and I think I need this to go a bit higher because um, I haven't stood on here. I was going up, but I can just feel, feel that it's not right. So whenever you're, whenever I'm doing work and it's risky and I, it just doesn't feel right, I don't do it. It's not worth taking the risk. It's better to do it safe. And the trouble is because it's, it's in a corner like where that bay window is in the way. I can't get stabilizers on each corner. I've just had to put those two stabilizers that you see jucking out. Save it tipping over that way. It can't tip this way because it's right against the wall. But the floor is uneven down there. I've had to stack it up with some wood. I'll show you later on. But that doesn't feel safe to me. I need some more. Look at this gap here. Yeah, big gap here. You need something else to make it more sturdy. Then a couple more of these barriers, one up there and then I'll be fenced in, then I'll feel safe for doing it. So um, I won't be able to do that until Monday or Tuesday, depends, because nowadays you can't get anything quick. Like on a Saturday, you'd be able to pop around to HSS, but they're not open on a Saturday now, and everybody's working at home. I'll have to phone, um, phone and may have to collect the battery. It's, it's not easy, because it's so hard to get stuff. So anyway, that's it. Um, I'm going to fit the fan now, try and get it going. Uh, hi guys, a um, little problem that's occurred here. Something interesting I'd like to show you guys. Don't know if you've ever come across it before. Remember, I had, there's a problem at this switch. There's a fault going over to the fan. Well, what I discovered when I put the RCBO in, it kept tripping. Disconnected the live, because this is the cable here red, yellow, blue going to the fan. So I took that live out, expected it to um, not trip, but it tripped. Took the switch line out, it tripped. Then took the neutral out, it didn't trip. So, um, right, I um, fitted the fan. The fan was already fitted. No, the new fan, I fitted the new fan. And then what I noticed is it was, it was like it was working without a neutral. The new, I took the neutral out, but the fan was still running. I thought, what the hell, what's going on? So anyway, left it. I come back today, had a bit of sleep on it. And then when I put my Megra on it, I'm getting a fault from earth to neutral. And because the earth was connected to the metal box. It wasn't connected at the other end, at the fan end, but because it was connecting to the um, metal box, it was then providing the earth. It was, um, it was providing the neutral because it's touching the neutral, so it's, it was bringing the neutral over to the fan. So that's why it worked. So now I was planning on rewiring it, but there's a lot of furniture upstairs, carpet and everything. So I put my mega on it, everything's fine, apart from the neutral to earth fault. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut out this earth and cut out the earth at that end. So now um, there won't be um, a problem there unless someone decides to put a fan in that needs an earth. So I'll have to put that on the report that at the moment, it's not ideal, but at the moment, Circus is the circuit is fine. If a fan that's put in, if a fan is put in that requires an earth, then you'd have to rewire it. I mean, basically, it's a risk assessment that I'm doing on site. As far as I'm concerned, once that earth is not in play, there's no problem. And once the, the fan doesn't require an earth, there isn't a problem. If that changes, then there's a problem. Okay, I don't know what you guys think of it, but that's what I'm going to do. Uh, another development, lads. Um, uh, remember, I was having problem fitting the outside vent because of the height and everything. Well, a um, bit of development on that, I'll show you. Having thought about it overnight, what I thought, okay, that's a bit rickety. I, might have, I don't trust it. It's not the way it should be up properly. So what I thought, if because if you look, that's quite near the window. That fan, I could, I'm thinking maybe if I got up a ladder, it's awkward because if you look, the toilet's in the way to put a ladder up properly. So I thought, 
I could reach out, put some strong glue on and glue it on. But it wasn't gonna work. This window here is all sealed up. I think it's been painted up. And I didn't want to release it because um, if I, when you're doing, when you go messing about with things like that, you release it and then it just drops and you can't, the ropes might not even be any good. Cause this one doesn't see, it slides up and down. It doesn't stay up too well. So don't, I don't want to mess with that. So I phoned up my um, old sailor to find out what glue I could use if I did do it. And then he told me about this, what I never, I, I've seen them before, but never, never used them and never thought about them. I don't, I didn't even know what they do. This here, this is a vent that you can put from inside and you, you got to do, there's the manual there. So I've got to go through all that manual and then you pull a string and it locks and it's an outside vent that can be fit, fitted through the wall. And apparently they've got another one that you can, it's a flat vent, you fold it, push it through the wall and um, pull it and it just springs, which would be ideal for what I had. Cause I had my, remember I had my pipes all cemented in properly. It was all nice and tight. I had to take it all out. <laughs> I had to take it all out, which I've done. Um, now I've got to take all that filling I've done around to make it all nice and tight. If I had that flat one that folded, I could just push it through and pull it through, but no one had one. So I'm going to go and try and do this, uh, read the instructions carefully and try and fit this in. I'll let you know how I get on. Right, um, eventually I got that um, tube through with the flange outside. I'll show it to you. Here you are, ready for the fan. There's my cable up there. And I'll show you the outside. Hopefully I don't drop my phone. <laughs> uh. oh, I don't know if you can see that properly. See that thing sticking out of the wall there? That's it. Nice one. Yep, you can hear the fan going. Everything's done. Got it all sorted. I'll show, that, show it to you. There's a fan up there, going well. And sorted the switch out. Um, RCBO is staying in, no problem. So that's save all that rewiring, so it's all good. That's the vent up there. I don't know if you can see that. Yep. Okay, um, that's the job done, everything completed. Um, I'll just show you the fuse board and that. Yep, look. Uh, there's a fuse board there with all the labels on it. Um, there's the circuit chart and that um, here. That's the stuff about the fuse board, about the fans, about the light fittings. It's always good to leave information like that because people, anything goes wrong, they can have a look through it and um, get what they need to, okay? So that's it, complete, job done. Okay, that's the end of that job. I hope um, you can get something out of the videos, pick up a few things, hopefully. And one thing though, you see old sailors, old sailors, it's quite, they're quite good sometimes because um, they're not technical people, so you can't ask them technical questions, but there's some things that they know about that can help you out, like um, that uh, pipe for the fan. I didn't know about them. I've seen them, but I didn't even realise what they were. And um, the guy at CEF, Arta, big up to Arta, um, CEF from Ivory, Islington, he told me about it. And he told me about the one, there's another one, the, the, you can fold it, it's the vent, the outside vent, you can fold it, push it through the pipe and then pull it and it locks, locks in. So next time I'm working at eye level I know what to use.